In this video, we will be programming ECPH alarms on the iDoser Environmental Nutrient Controller. Now, to get to the alarm screen, you would simply do the following from the home screen. Hit Enter Menu. Then you would scroll down to iDoser Programming. And then scroll down to ECPH alarms. Now to navigate within the alarm settings screen, you would hit next or previous to go in between the fields and hit plus and minus to change numerical values. Now the first option is the tank your EC and pH centers are in you have up to eight tanks to choose from and you'd simply hit plus or minus to associate this particular alarm with whatever tank you want it to be assigned to. Hit next. Now the hold time lets you choose how long you want this condition to exist before going into the alarm mode. Now 99 is in fact disabled, plus and minus will change the numerical values and we'll go ahead and make this five minutes. So this define means that if the condition exists, it will hold for five minutes until the alarm will in fact engage. Hit next to get to the next screen. Now deviation is if you have a backup sensor and there is a separation from the main sensor value and the backup sensor value what will happen is it will throw an alarm and will stop dosing. Now deviation checks for the separation of values between the EC and pH values only, not temperature. And these fields can be adjusted by simply hitting next and previous to highlight the fields and hitting plus and minus to change the numerical values. Once you have set this, hit next. Now on this screen you have your standard default high and low EC and pH alarm thresholds. You can navigate in the screen by simply hitting next and previous and you can increase your values, decrease your values by hitting plus or minus. And uh, once you have set your thresholds, to save your information, you just simply go ahead and hit the back button till you get to the home screen. And that's our video in programming ECPH alarms on the iDoser Environmental Nutrient controller.